welcome back to my channel it's Ashlyn today I'm gonna show you my little like liquid and cream makeup only challenge and I'm gonna use some of my favorite um, sponges to create this look so I'm using Beauty Blender but another option is the Real Techniques one which is the orange one and that works just as well so I'm starting off with some Nivea Men's aftershave balm this is really funny to use but it works great as a primer and then I'm going to go in with my favorite foundation ever. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear in 2W2 Rattan. And this is just such a good foundation for long wear and it's waterproof and sweat proof and it just lasts a very long time. It's also buildable from medium to full coverage. And here's just a shot of how it looks on the skin. As you can see, it is demi matte and has a really satiny natural finish. And then just to conceal under my eyes, I'm using the Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer. This one's in the shade Light, I believe. And I'm just using the point part of the sponge on an angle. And then, of course, just quickly filling in my brows and put my tutorial up at the top right of the screen. You can click that. And next, I'm going into my liquid bronzer. This is by Benefit, and it's their liquid version of their super famous Hoola bronzer. I like this so far, it's not bad. And then going in with some Revlon Cream Blush, I'm just going to pop that in layers on my cheeks and just use the flatter edge of the Beauty Blender to blend it in. And then for highlight, I'm using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, and this one's in the shade Opal in the liquid form, and just using my fingers to tap that all over the highest points of my cheeks. And then also I'm going to apply that onto my Cupid's bow and also onto the tip of my nose. Here I didn't realize how, how much I put on the tip of my nose until I looked at the viewfinder. Glowy, but it was okay. And then one of my favorite color tattoos are from the leather line. This is a long wearing cream shadow by Maybelline and it's really easy to apply. You just use your fingers. You can use a brush, but I like using my fingers because I find it blends easier. So I'm just gonna put that all over the lid and lower lash line. And look, it just blends out so easily. And then I'm gonna just pop in a little bit of that shimmering skin perfector again into the inner corners and just blend everything out a little bit more with my beauty blender. And just with any liquid liner, I'm just gonna line the top lash line to give some fullness to my lashes and also make the look um, a little more dramatic. And if you wanna go a little bit more edgy, just add on a wing. I'm gonna do that here just because I thought it would go with the edgy, grungy kind of look. And then of course I'm just gonna curl my lashes and apply some mascara to really thicken them up. I'm using this one by Too Faced. And lashes are optional, I decided to pop some on for this video just because I like the extra drama. So now for lip option number one, this is the more wearable grungy look. I'm going to put on some Laura Mercier Milky Way lipstick and that's what that looks like there. I really like this color. It's really subdued and kind of taupey, really cool toned. I like it. I think it's really wearable and it's really comfortable. Now for lip option number two. If you want something a little bit more edgy, trendy, I suggest using this one. This is Stone by MAC. It's one of my favorite matte lipsticks from Reflection. The color is super unique and you can't really find it anywhere else. And yeah, I just think it looks super grungy and it just really adds a lot to the look. It just completes it, in my opinion. And yeah, that's the look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I appreciate every bit of support. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!